Hello boys and girls, what's going on? It's Tom. And it's Jamie. Welcome to the Chronicles of Podcast. The Chronicles of Bloodstock 2023. Uh, I'm Jack from Welcome Call It. I play drums. I'm Callum, I'm a guitarist. I'm Connor, I'm one of the vocalists. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to come chat to us. It's Pleasure. absolutely incredible to have you here. And it's very late in the day. I know beers are needed at this stage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, but most importantly, how are we doing? Awesome, mate. Uh, we've literally just got off stage, so we came straight here, um, done the new blood stage. Absolutely loved it, mate. It was unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. When did you actually come to Bloodstock? When did you get here? Thursday. Oh, so you've been here all weekend, yeah, been here so far. All weekend, man. Taking it all in. It's just such a mad environment, and like none of us have ever been to Bloodstock before, so. It's such a, like, oh, it's just crazy. The fact that we're, first time we ever come here, we're playing here. It's like, normally you come here a couple of times as a punter before you join a band and play yeah, here. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we decided to skip that bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because normally you're like, I want to do that one day. This looks great. This looks amazing. Yeah. But you just go on. But it's like, yeah, completely, mate. Already done it. <laughs> Didn't even have to bother turning it up. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely incredible. But as you can tell, like it's a proper family feel here. Oh, I love like it. there's kids, yeah. there's even babies here. Yeah, which yeah. I think I just think that's unbelievable. Yeah, no, so. no, 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 no. Stage, I saw some like some little kid in here defender started a circle pit. Yeah, oh, he looked yeah. about he looked about eight. Yeah, uh, and it was crazy. It was a uh, it was a band, Devil's Henchmen, on the New Blood stage. Yes, they were amazing, by the way. But yeah, this little kid just like running around, and everyone like joined in with him. Amazing. And it's like moments like that, and it's just like, yeah, man, this festival's dope. You'd never get that uh, download no, or anywhere no, else. You know, they would, no. they'd be shoving them out of the way, be like, yeah, really? you might yeah. be trying to have fun here. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kick babies in the no, mud. No, do not do that. Do not do that. This is a parental right. warning. We're not uh, we're not condoning any violence <laughs> to kids whatsoever. <laughs> we're an all inclusive band. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. <laughs> anyway, moving. I stay quiet. Oh, <laughs> <fucking do> yeah. <laughs> um, as you've said, you've just come off stage, mm. opening for Megadeth doing a VIP. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that, I guess so. You good. haven't yeah. been here before. Yeah. But you've now just played Bloodstock yeah. for the first time ever, and you just opened for a Megadeth VIP <laughs> set. I mean, I mean, we didn't even know until just before we went yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, on the on the app on the uh, the Clash Finder thing, there's like a big gap, so it was like, oh, that'd be quite a chill like get off. And then there was like, right, you guys have got to really get off quick because you got a uh, Megadeth acoustic VIP thing going on. And we we're like, what the hell? Yeah. So we found out literally and, ten and minutes then, before we went Simon on. Simon Hall, uh, who runs the Bloodstock stage, come up to me and was like. Uh, how does it feel to be main support for Megadeth? And I was like, yeah. I was like, you know what? What? I was like, you only just told me, bro. What? <laughs> like, Dave, who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about broken calling, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, as you said, it's your first time here. Yeah. Um, with a broken calling gig, do you alter the set list accordingly, differently to say? doing a festival show so obviously not a lot of people might be aware of you guys so you might be like you know let's just put banger after banger in and draw all those people in well most of them are bangers anyway so oh, 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 so I'll leave see you later have a good one so guys it doesn't say so what it does it is fire <laughs> You're only going to answer the specific questions, all right? Well, hopefully they'll ask them. Hopefully they'll ask them. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> so, us as a podcast, we are ambassadors for the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. Big up. Are, you, are you aware? I was going to say, are you aware of Sophie? Yeah, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to guess you are. Yeah. Um, so, how does it. Cause Bloodstock and the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, they kind of go hand in hand now. They've got the yeah. stage named after them. The foundation are here every year. It's a wonderful thing. Does that make playing here just that little extra bit special? The fact that you're at this place flying the flag for Sophie in a way? Always, man. Always. You know, like, as uh, I can't remember, someone on stage yesterday um, was in, in like, um, uh, introducing the next band. Um, and he said, like, I think it might have actually been Jesse and Killswitch was saying, yeah. like, we were, we were all freaks when we were kids. We all got, yeah, yeah. We all got heat. We all got heat at school. We all know what it's like. Well, obviously, she went through that, you know, that next step where it, that unfortunately and sadly happened to her. So, for to you know to be a part of something which really champions that and like makes it make, like raises awareness. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. It means the world, honestly. Like you know, Jack pretty much said everything I was going to say. You know, this is a big community and everyone's a big family. And the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is a big part of that. So the fact that we, I mean, I'll, I'll say it for everyone when I say we have the absolute honour to play this festival, it just, it means the world. It feels like home. 
Yeah. Again, oh. absolute fire from Callum. I love this guy. I love this guy. So do we all. Yeah. <laughs> so, yesterday, I don't know if you're aware, was 16 years since the day that Sophie got attacked. Oh, wow. Didn't is, know that. Growing up, is this anything you guys ever went through where you were picked on, whether it be physically, verbally, simply because you dressed a bit different, listened 100%. to different music, whatever it may be? 100%. Um, yeah, I, I, just simple answer, yes. Uh, I went through it, I'm pretty sure. You guys did too. Like, ostracised, bullied, made to feel like an outcast. Um, you know, uh, and I, I was on like the lighter stuff then, you know, like Linkin Park and Limp Bizkit, you know, the gateway metal. Um, you know, and then my, as I got older, the, the taste got heavier. But yeah, even just listening to those bands, you get all the chavs and, and people like that were not very nice to you at school. So yeah, been there, understand it, and um, can't can't big up Bloodstock enough for for what they're doing for that. So yeah, Absolutely. and for everything else, man, just for supporting like bands like us who get a chance to play these kind of stages, just a fantastic. Like it's just a fantastic organisation, really. It's great. Obviously, we mentioned a minute ago about like the young kids and the babies and stuff like that yeah. being here. And what we what we're trying to do is find out how we can protect those guys as they grow up, as they become teenagers, they become Sophie's age, become our age, and hopefully one day they play the stages here too. Yeah. You know. So if what's one thing you think maybe the foundation could do for those guys as they're growing up, help support them and get them through these troubled times if they have to go through it themselves? Which fingers crossed they don't, but if they do, probably like. Um, raising awareness, raising awareness in, in schools, in preschool, well not preschools, but like junior schools, getting that message to kids early, um, that it's okay to dress different, it's okay to be different, and then to the people that maybe um, would be the, you know, the instigators of the bullying, it's, it's also telling them it's okay from early. So they're not then saying like, they're not growing up with this mindset that, oh, they dress different, so we need to pick on them. Like, oh, it's, they dress different, that's okay. So, yeah, something like that, I think, like just getting that awareness in from early um, would be would be my idea. Um, I'm not sure if they go that far yet, um, but yeah, that would probably be my um, my idea. What about you, Con? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much with Jack on that. Just, yeah, like schools, um, like, you know, I mean, they do enough with like charity events and stuff like that. And yeah. I mean, I, I can't really say anything else. Jack pretty much took my... Well. <laughs> Are we going to get some more fire from Callum? The community always looks after itself. The community is always there for all of the kids here. Absolutely. Mate, you need to go into politics, yeah. bro. <laughs> Seriously. She drops his run nuggets of wisdom. It's country. mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> Make Britain great again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mabba. Mabba. <laughs> Mabba. <laughs> <laughs> You're just expression. Callum for <laughs> Prime Minister. <laughs> I'll vote, I'll vote. Uh, yeah, 100%. Definitely got my vote. <laughs> but bring it, bringing it back to you guys, obviously you guys are here because you won Metal to the Masses in Kent. Yeah. How did that feel when they called your name out? I can't describe it really, mate. Um, <laughs> so we, 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 did, we got to the final last year um, and we didn't win it. Massive deflation. Um, really like that. I just remember that drive home was just gutted and just so down. Um, and then yeah we, we picked ourselves up we've done it again um, we brought Tansy in we've got a new vocalist um, for, for she came in for the final um, and yeah when they announced our name it was like I, I can't describe it mate like I think I just stood there and was like I was like on the side on one of the benches stood up with my partner Charlotte and we were just we both just went like that and I looked at down all the boys and they were all the same as me just, <laughs> just tongues out on the yeah, floor like was yeah <laughs> I was on FaceTime to my mum <laughs> oh yeah, he was. I was there on FaceTime, Martin. We both each other like, wait, uh. yeah, it means. <laughs> and then everyone come up to me. It's like, oh my god, you won, you won. And I'm still there, like, I don't know what is going on here. It's like just it's fire, fire, absolute euphoria and disbelief. Oh, Jesus right. Christ! I don't, oh, don't you find that obviously from when the announcement was made that you won? But it was like, was it like a really slow period? Like, oh my God, it's weeks away. Come on, get... And then the closer it gets, it's like, now it's done, now you're here. Yeah. Yeah, it's mental. It's me like, it didn't really hit me till Wednesday. Um, I was walking up the, the stairs. So I have to fly, like, climb six flights of stairs to work. Oh. And on like the third flight, my legs, I just had a thought of like what it would look like to be looking out at the crowd. And my legs just went. It was so weird. Um, but yeah, I... Other than that, I've been quite calm until about three minutes before we went on stage, and then yeah, it was a bit like oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. 
Um, but yeah, unreal, mate, unreal. Yeah, for me, it didn't really sink in till this morning. Like, I mean, until this morning, I thought I was here as a punter. So, <laughs> and then they gave me this wristband that let me go on like the New Blood stage and the uh, Jaeger stage, I think. And then I was like, wait, I've got what now? And I can go in the VIP tent and do all this stuff that I don't normally get to do if I go to a festival. And yeah, and then like, you know, we get to chat to like awesome people like you guys as well. Oh, um, you. Uh, <laughs> and, no, and the best thing is as well, like, um, like some of our friends are playing here, like some amazing bands are playing here, like Shoot to Kill played yesterday morning. Uh, Primer are currently, hopefully, tearing apart the Jägermeister stage. Uh, Beyond Your Design are playing. We had Black Host, a friend of ours, on the Sophie stage yesterday. And then getting to see the array of bands. Also, can we just say, that 2024 announcement, though, like, what's going on with that? Like, Architects and Malevolence. Mm. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fire. Still hasn't set in yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've said all day, mate. <laughs> So your latest single virus came out last month. What's the reception been like to the single? Oh, mate, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And also, because obviously we've uh, timed it with getting on Blood... We didn't time it like that, but um, we're getting on Bloodstock. Um, and obviously we got on the Bloodstock playlist as well. And as, as soon as we got on that, we saw our figures just rocket up, our YouTube rocket up. And we didn't really correlate. So we were like, why have we got all these random new <laughs> listens? And then I clocked it and I was like, I bet there's a Bloodstock playlist. And I looked at our yeah. Spotify artists and we've been at it. Like the space of like, I don't know what, two, three weeks, we went from like 75 monthly listeners to like a thousand. And we were like, <laughs> wait, what is going on here? <laughs> like, it's crazy. But then, we, but then we looked and we were like, oh, we're on Bloodstock playlist. And um, yeah, as you can tell, my voice is a bit shot. But um, yeah. <laughs> Get them vocal zones down, you mate. Yeah, mate, we got. Big up vocal zone. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. give us that endorsement, please. I've been begging, <laughs> I've been begging for it for time. Time. <laughs> Definitely check out the new single and let us know what you think. Yeah. That was very politician-y. Yeah. <laughs> Last thing, we'll let you get out of cool. here. Looking, you've had released a ton of singles. Is there an album on the way? So, um, we're, we're kind of of the mindset of, um, because of the level we're at, we just want to um, consistently put out stuff just to keep, like, you know, in people's consciousness. So, we're going down, like, the single video route for, for now, because, you know, these days as well, people just love playlists, yeah. don't they? Like, you probably listen to an album once, and then you'll pick up your favourite songs and put them on a playlist, yes, so absolutely. we're very much, yeah, we're, we're trying to target that kind of uh, route, um, but we would love to, like, do an album. Um, and you know get it all really, like oh, we'd love to get it pressed on like vinyl and stuff oh, like yeah, that just do, cool. do it the proper way but you know I think we'd be better off putting our money into you know consistent studio time consistent videos um, and we've also got a few tours lined up which we have to put money into that as well so um, so yeah uh, that, that's kind of our plan really moving forward um, we've got a couple of European tours lined up for November um, and then we've got a nice big London show in December with yeah. Confessions of a Traitor so that should be really sick. Oh, really sick. He looks happy about that one. Yeah, Are you happy, Cal? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Callum is happy. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually happy for once. <laughs> guys, this has been absolutely amazing. Thank, Thank you so you much for taking the time out to talk to us. Go get some beers in and celebrate. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Beautiful. Big up, chaps. Woo!